Okay, so to shrug your shoulders is to just pull them up. Usually, I don't know is uh, <laughs> what it means. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, now could you start uh, chapter two, please? Captain Orlov. Oh, page nine. Dr. Orlov had his alert hunters moved to the Iceland that morning, making many trips from their ship to the beach of the Coral Cove. Since the beach was small and almost flooded when the tide was in, he asked if he could camp on higher ground. This my father agreed to. Okay. Tide, you know, at certain times of the day, the ocean comes in uh, more to the land, and certain times it goes back out. That's the tide. Um, island, remember that S is silent. <coughs> mm -hmm. There's island, and there's another word, isle. That's isle, also means island, but you're gonna hear and read island much more than you'll, much more than isle. Perhaps I should have a Aliyuts. <coughs> for most of the summer. summer. Okay. All right, and it's a uh, just camped. Camp. Okay. Camp. Our island is two trees, long and one is one, and if you were standing on one of the hills and right that rise in the middle of it, you would think that it looks like a fish like a dolphin lining on its side, which is terrifying towards the sunrise. It's mostly pointing to the sunset, and it's really making flip and rock, like, rock, rock, rocky along the shore. We just someone did stretch there on the low hills in the days in the summer time. It's just new and new and because of its shape, or is the island of the blue dolphins. I do not know. Many dolphins live in our sea, and it may be from them that the rain came. But one way or another, this is what the island was called. Okay, good. Um, again, a, a, a league is a, a measure. I'm. I'll look it up for you and see what it is in kilometers, because I, I honestly don't know what it is. Um, sunrise, when the sun goes up. Sunset, when the sun goes down. Rocky ledges, OK. The ledge, this point right here, is the ledge of the table. So you don't want to fall off the ledge. OK. Those are all the words that I saw. Does anyone have any questions about words? OK. OK, so Junta, the first thing you would notice. The first thing you would notice about our idea is a wind is brown is brown blows blows yes almost every day yes sometimes from the northwest and sometimes from the east once in a long while out of the south all the all the wind except the one from the south are strong because of the the hill are polite, polished, polished, smooth, and the street and 
the tree are uh, small and and the leaf is mm -hmm. and when in the canyon that runs down to coral cove. cove. Okay, so um, the wind has the rocks. What? Means made them smooth. <laughs> It's made them smooth. Um, there's also an idiom. If you, if you sit down and eat very quickly and your plate is completely empty, it, someone could say to you, you really polished off that meal. <laughs> means you ate every bit. Yes, you do polish a shoe. Uh, you polish jewelry. Okay, uh, twisted means not straight. Okay, Pew. The village, the village of the Shalosan lay east of the hills on the small mesa. mesa near Coral Cove and a good spring about a half large to the north is another spring and it was there that the Aliyut put up their tents which were made of pines skins. skins and birds so low to the earth that the men had to crowd into them on their so much and ducks, we could see the blue of their roof. Are there fires? Okay, so the glow is the light that comes from the fire. When a fire is lit, it glows. Uh, stomach is your abdomen. Um, oh, and a good spring. Here they're talking about a very small river as a spring with fresh water so it's safe to drink. Um, so they have to have the water so that's why they camp there. They can't drink the ocean water because of all the salt in it. So they look for a spring which is, some people call it sweet water because it's not salty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That night, my father wanted everyone in the village of Dallas, uh, then visiting, visiting the camp. The Aleuts? You can go ahead and do the next one. <laughs> the Aleut come from County Bar to the north, he said. There were are not our norm is their language. They have come to take order and to give us our clan in many food fish. They have any fish we can use. In this way shall we form it. But we shall not profit. 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 If we try to defend them, they are people who do not understand friendship. They are not those who were here before, but they are people of the same tribe, tribe. that caused trouble many years ago. Okay, so tribe is a group of people who live together um, usually referred to when you're talking about native peoples. Um, American Indians are divided into tribes such as Sioux or Cherokee or Pueblos. Um, so it's a community. Most often they're all related to each other too because it's a small community. A profit means to get something for uh, can refer to money, but in this case, they're saying they're going to get some of the fur after these Russians uh, hunt. 
Okay. Uh, My father was were open. We did not go to the uh, alley -oot. Our gallery used to the alley camp. Yes. And they did not come to our village. But it is not to say that we did not know what they did. Uh, what they ate and in what way they cook it. How many other will kill each day and other things as well? For someone was only watching from the creek while they were hunting or from uh, the ravine. Uh, ravine. Ravine. Uh -huh. ravine. Uh, when they were in camp. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, Aliyud is the name of this uh, uh, tribe of Indians. And uh, honestly, this Aliyud is how we say it in American English, but I don't know if that's the name they call themselves. And I don't know if it's the correct way to pronounce it. Um, because a lot of times when people conquer someone else, they just give it their own name, you know. Um, yeah, okay. That was good. So. I remember this dance brought news about Captain Orlock. In the morning, when he crawls out of his pen.